Welcome to the beginning of the Blender Challenge 19 Ancient Civilization Challenge. This challenge is open to uh, beginners in Blender, uh, intermediate users, anybody really. I call it a challenge, but there are no uh, prizes. Uh, it's just uh, something that we do for enjoyment and to see what uh, everybody is up to and what everybody comes up with. The inspiration for this challenge came from some real world experience that I had. Uh, out here in St. John, I was just uh, walking the dogs on one of our nature walks and I came upon all this sort of rubble, these uh, rocks and stones and things with interesting carvings. And uh, I thought maybe they were gravestones, but it looks like it was from some old building. And so I saw this thing here on the side and this is just really beautiful uh, stone work. And so that's what got me thinking that uh, this would make uh, a really cool challenge. Um, and so I've called it Ancient Civilization so that it sort of spans a lot of stuff and you have a lot of freedom in what you decide to model and texture. All right, so I'm gonna talk a little bit about the process and how you could do it and the expectations. Um, Likely what you'll want to do is do some research on ancient civilization. So you could choose something like Mayan, Incan, Roman, Egyptian, Aztec, Chinese, Greek, Persian, uh, alien. <laughs> you could do pretty much anything you want, but it's always a good idea to do a little bit of background research and read a little bit and look at images. And you want to gather some resources and save them to your computer. So some reference images. Uh, you can, of course, copy an exact uh, photograph it's probably not a great idea to, to copy somebody's 3d but you can do that uh, we're not making any money here and uh, it should be uh, different enough from the original that you wouldn't run into trouble you're just doing this for enjoyment and for learning all right so gather some reference images um, whether they are photographs or, or 3d images or uh, wallpaper or whatever something that inspires you something that you can refer back to and um, you'll need some textures, I would assume, uh, unless you're gonna do it all procedurally uh, or create your own, and some HDRI, some high definition uh, images uh, for, for lighting and for environment. I would assume you probably would use that, but you, you don't have to. And a good source for those is something like polyhaven.com where they're free and you can use them in your projects. There are other sites, so feel free to do whatever you like. Um, and so uh, once you have all of that stuff, and of course you might not get the textures and the HDRIs until later on in the, in the modeling process. Uh, in terms of suggestions on, on what you could do, uh, certainly you can, you can watch me and see what I come up with and I don't know yet, but you might want to think about something like doing like some kind of ancient temple. Um, you could do pottery, you could do tools. Uh, you can create an entire scene if you want. It doesn't have to be a big one. It could be like a, a little diorama or, or, or just a few things. Or, or maybe you even just want to do an individual object. If, you're, if you're, you don't have much time or you're more of a beginner uh, and you want to do just an axe or something or, or just a, a building, you know, that, that's totally fine. And, and, of course, in this theme, you can do some medieval stuff if you, if you like that style. All right, so you don't, don't feel like you have to do an entire scene. Uh, you can just do one thing if that's, you know, if that's all you can handle at this particular time. You can set this if you, if you do a scene or you, you do a little mini scene, you can set it, you know, in a desert or in a jungle. You can set it underwater if you want. Could be like, you know, some submarine or some, you know, explorer discover some ruins you know at the bottom of the ocean or something you can even do it on another planet if you want the idea is to model this uh, in blender so do your modeling in blender and then texture it any any way you like with any software whether it's blender or substance painter or some other uh, software or a combination anything goes with that and feel free to tell us about um, what you used the texture or how you did it if you've got any good tips or or you found something that you really like uh, if you want you can follow me as I model and uh, I'm not going to do anything too incredible I don't think I'm just going to do something that uh, is in, in, uh, inspiring or and interesting to me so if you if you want to model what I do 
feel free or you can create your own stuff as you go along um, it'd be nice if you were to post some stuff on the zero bio discord and i'll leave links uh, to the, the discord uh, in the description section of each of my videos uh, in the series so you can always uh, find it but here's a, a a screenshot of what the server looks like right now and there's, there's been a number of challenges so far we're on blender challenge 19 so i put bc19 here and because i can't fit the whole word ancient civilization is cut off i just tend to do it like this challenge 19 whips work in progress this is where you can post your your work in progress as you're starting to model things if you like if you want to share that you know a screenshot or a render or whatever uh just not of the final thing you can post that in the challenge this should say challenge 19 here that's a little mistake challenge 19 whips channel all right that's where you post your work in progress and then when you're all done the final thing final render or renders post them in the challenge 19 renders and i i don't expect you would do that for you know until near the end of the challenge you know a month from now or a month and a half or however long the challenge is going to be we'll talk about that in a bit uh, that's where you would post that and i will take those final renders and i'll make a render review video uh, as i've done for i think all of the other challenges okay so uh, don't post your whips there just post final renders and it would be good if you did something like put your name uh, in the file so that it's not like you know like render one and other people have render one and i go to copy them and i have a problem so try to make them uh, unique uh, names and you post those there and i'll gather them all up and we'll make that render review video down the road but for now you can start putting stuff in here um, don't don't post any reference images from uh, the internet uh, in here this is this is just for, for your work even if it is modeled based on something else that's that's fine but we don't need like windows wallpaper in there and stuff like that okay so um as we go along like i say i'll provide the links for the server you can go back and look at this you can chat you can you know you post other stuff that you're working on if you want i have been pretty busy with my life here and so i don't uh, go to the server that that often i'm not i'm not super active there I do have a few uh, folks doing some moderation there. So, you know, uh, we um, act maturely there. We don't swear and uh, we don't talk about crazy stuff. It's, it's about Blender. It's about art. Okay. So, um, yeah. In terms of when this thing is going to be due, um, I know that we're coming into June and some of you might be uh, in high school uh, or uh, maybe even elementary school, who knows, um, or university, college, whatever. And so you might be busy with other things, with the end of end of the year uh, assignments and exams coming up and stuff. So I figure we're looking at something like four weeks. And so hopefully you can find a little bit of time to work on this uh, on the side. And it's not going to conflict with um, some of the other things that you have to do. We're all busy people. Um, so don't stress too much about it. Just have fun. And again, if you can't do you know, too much and all you can do is a temple column or something like that, that's fine. Just do a nice temple column and texture it and say, that's, that's part of my ancient civilization. All right. So it's on. It's beginning now. Feel free to start working. Uh, whenever you can there is no pressure there is no real rush all right we're going to take it easy and enjoy this and i still need some time to think about uh, what i'm going to do and how i'm going to do it so it may take me a couple of days before i post a video showing actual modeling and getting started on this thing all right so uh, enjoy have fun i look forward to seeing what you come up with and uh, we'll keep in touch uh, as we go through the process of Blender Challenge 19, Ancient Civilization.